Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for December 27 through to December 31st. A significant coronal hole formation and an earthbound coronal mass ejection represent a potential of a 7 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We now look at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE and we see a significant change in data over the last 6 hours which saw solar wind density spike to 11 protons per cubic centimetre and also a sharp dive simultaneously in solar wind temperature. This is due to the arrival of a high speed solar wind stream coming from the polar coronal hole. Now I'm expecting another change in solar wind telemetry when the arrival of a high speed solar wind stream comes from another coronal hole formation that's located in the southern hemisphere. We're now looking at the Solar Terrestrial Activity Report and focusing on an animated view of coronal hole formations that have formed in the Southern Hemisphere. Now we do have two separate regions of focus, December 27 to 29. I'm expecting the Southern Polar Coronal Hole to produce two separate earthquakes at high latitudes and also following during the end of this watch, December 28 to December 31st, a significant earthquake potential in the rear coronal hole and that's classified as CH490. Now looking at the 193 angstrom with solar monitor and focusing on this coronal hole formation deep down in the southern hemisphere. Now we do see that it has split up into three separate areas and it does span from 51 to 69 degrees south latitude. Now we'll plot a map some regions off field will be in line to receive some earthquakes during the initial part of this watch. Now going to plot a map of region off field will be most at risk for this significant earthquake based on solar symmetry as best plotted to the earth and the area we're focusing on is for the Macquarie Islands region or the Bellany Islands. And my second and final area of concern for the Southern Hemisphere for this initial coronal hole is for the South Sandwich Islands region. Now looking at the moving imagery and taking a look at the Southern Hemisphere and we do see that this large coronal hole formation is moving around quite violently and I feel may produce a very large earthquake and definitely needs to be monitored closely. Now looking at this second coronal hole formation on the solar corona, now I have isolated 24 to 29 degrees south latitude as the area of most interest and I will plot a map some regions I feel will be most in line for this event. I'm now going to plot a map of region I feel will be most at risk for this significant earthquake based on solar symmetry as best mapped to the earth and the number one area of concern is for the region of Kermatic Islands stretching up towards the south of Fiji region. The regions of Salta and Santiago del Estero in Argentina are my second and final areas of concern for this watch. I'm now looking at a still image of the stereo ahead core 2 where we see a full halo coronal mass ejection seemingly headed Earth's way. Now this is due to a filament eruption occurring in an Earth facing position. Now we are missing 6 hours of data unfortunately but we do see a significant coronal mass ejection here. Now I'm expecting that this may impact the Earth's magnetic field sometime on December 29 which may coincide with a powerful seismic shock or a geomagnetic storm. We're now looking at Cactus. Now this is a digital representation of coronal mass ejections released from the solar corona using the LASCO C2 feed from SOHO. Now we do see a twin eruption occurring on the solar corona on the 23rd of December. Now these are powerful eruptions with a significant action coming on the eastern limb. Now on face value, this doesn't appear to be earthbound or earth directed, but there is a fairly strong vortex feel to this coronal mass ejection, and I'm expecting a spawning of a tropical cyclone on January 2 to 4 based on this analysis. We're now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that may be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures, and the areas we're focusing on are shaded in darkish green. And the main reading showing up for this week are for the regions of Carlsberg Ridge, the Bay of Bengal, the Nias region, Indonesia. We also have strong readings on the top end of Australia stretching in towards Fiji and Solomon Islands and also a powerful signature showing up east of Hawaii. A significant reading has been picked up on the Australian Pulsation PC3 index. This is a large signature and this validates the theory of a significant earthquake potential for the southern hemisphere in the coming days. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 25th of December 2011. For more up to date information on earthquakes please subscribe to EQ Reporter or visit my website at solarwatcher.net. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.